Welcome again to the uh, Spincast Cycling Show. I'm your host, Brian Kellison. Brian White, Leaves of Reeves. Brian White back from the, hey, I have to cover somebody's work on call, Mr. On Call. And now he's stepping away, so he's on call again. He's gone. That's it. You can kill the music. Thanks. Good to have you, Lee. Good to be good, here. Good training week. Good racing week. It was a good training week. Oh, good. I think did you rode one ride. one ride to work and back. Actually, no, I did one ride of 250 kilometers, and then that was it. Oh, wow. When was that? Tuesday. I took the day oh. off work and decided, I'm going to go for a ride. And was out of the door at 530 in the morning and just rode and rode and rode and rode. It's awesome. And then rode and rode home. Yeah, well, that's the thing is when you ride one way, you're like, well, you got to go home. Yeah. <laughs> out and back, the old out yeah. and back. I oh, actually have great. to shout out to Frackberg in chat. Him and a whole crew of uh, streamers and Zwifters rode the ride or race across Indiana. Oh, yeah. 258 kilometers did it yesterday. Oh, wow. Beer Bear was, um, had shared his Garmin live stream so you could see where he was oh if you have a gar yeah yeah it's like the live update thing it was it's like the safety thing yeah yeah i think so okay yeah Very garmin cool. live track garmin live track cool so that was a outdoor event not a indoor event yes outdoor okay. but right on. it's pretty good to get a whole bunch of guys who normally just stream to meet up from all parts across you know even from canada a couple of Canadians went down. That's cool. Is it, is it very flat to go across the part that they went across for Indiana? It looked pretty flat. I think I saw someone's Strava and it was like 1,900 feet over 258 kilometers. So it was 4,000 feet of climbing. How long a day? They were out there all day. Okay. Yeah. It was all day. It's <laughs> nine, 10 hours. Oh, yeah. hours. It was like some. Well, I think because it's, it's it's an event, though, it probably started later. Like when I did my long ride, I was like, I'm out of the door. I'm on the bike by 530 in the morning. I believe when I was looking, because that was two, three hours ahead of my time zone. And I'm pretty sure it was seven, eight o'clock at night and they were still riding. So. You start later, wouldn't you just want to start earlier so that you can get well, the no, ride? I find the most of these. Well, I find most of these actual like riding events yeah. start later than they actually should because they have volunteers. You okay. don't, you know, you don't want to have your volunteers up at three thirty in the morning. Yeah, you do. So you can get the you roads do, back but to the people. That was a, that's why people, yeah, I know, people but don't like, volunteer. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know how it is in Canada, but in the United States, the longer the roads are closed for a bike event, the the more pissed off the cars get. Oh, yes. I do an event called the Tour de Victoria every year, and they shut down every intersection. They even put up signs in residential areas saying, event in progress, you mm -hmm. cannot park on the street. And I'm pretty sure it ticks off a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. So people left, see people come down from Canada. Frack is in, Frack, I don't know his real name, whatever, Frackberg. Uh, He's in, in Indiana, right? He's in Indiana. So he didn't have to go travel that far, but like how far would that, be? so let's say Brian, Brian's in West Virginia of the United States. How far is, of a drive would that have to be for you to go to do this event? And are you going wet? Are you going West, West Indiana to East Indiana or East Indiana? No, to I West think they went East, East, East to West. Okay. Yes. The, for me, be, I'm guessing, uh, or West to East. Yes, left yeah. to right. To get to the west side of Indiana, it'd be five to six hours. And then a all day bike ride. Yeah, because because it's three hours, just over three hours of Cincinnati, Dayton. Depends on which direction you're going, and then okay, and it'll probably another three to three ish across Indiana. Would you? My wife drove out there recently to in Indianapolis, and I think okay. it was like five hours for her. Okay. So if, if you go clear across the state, it might be six. Would you drive or would you fly? If you're, I'd drive. Yeah. Well, I, if I'm taking my, 
Yeah. yeah. I'd have, you know, obviously if you drive out, you got to have someone shuttle your car around, but unless you ride back across Indiana. Well, park where you finish and ride to the start yeah, and then, then do the back. event and then, yeah. come, then you'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of riding. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would need to do that a week before, so you had five days of recovery to ride back. Like that's a lot of riding. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a lot. Yeah, it'd be a lot. So, all right, do we want to get into the, the, the congratulations, everybody that, that that did that? Yeah, that's awesome. I, and I will say, I know the uh, I like the bicycle ride across whatever Iowa, I think it is. That's a whole event, and it's like you ride 60 miles, 80 miles at most. And like, there's a concert, live music, and like, it's a whole thing. I'm pretty sure it's- Wait a minute, ride, ride across, across Iowa is 60 miles? No, 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 I'm saying like, it's like a six day event. Oh, six and, day uh, event, okay, yeah. Did, did yeah. you hear, did, Lee, did you hear six, 60 miles? I heard 60 miles. Well, I'm actually just surprised, you know, coming from Canada, we have 10 provinces and a couple territories. So a province width is like massive. Yeah. So when they rode across the entire state in 258 kilometers, I was like, that's across the whole flipping state. Like yeah. I rode 250 kilometers and I got part way up the island I live on. Yeah. Like, which is maybe a tenth of the way across. Yeah, yeah. You guys the province. didn't the provinces you guys didn't decide to make very a bunch of small ones. Like no, you they should have giant, split it up yeah. into like 50. Like British Columbia, Alberta. Uh, what is I think it? it should have been the Republic yeah. of Vancouver Island. Yeah, it's like Maria. five across. You guys are like five across, right? Ten across. Ten. Well, ten. Yeah, but I mean like the main body of things until you get like, because yes. Ontario is kind of is the it, end of it. Then yeah, because it's very Scotia far east. The there's like, there's yeah. like six of them all in one spot, you know, spot. Right. But like the... The, the equivalent is like Canada, Arizona, and New Mexico are like two provinces. Like Canada, no, no, sorry. What did I say? Canada. I meant California. California and, and the width of like California and uh, Arizona is like Vancouver or British Columbia. And so, yeah, I, I can see where you're like 256 kilometers to go across one state. Now, there's some states that are more vertical. I mean, we're doing a geography show right now. So like the width of it is not as high as if you go north to south, that's a long day. That would be like two days. That would be like a day or two, right? Because it would, it, but when you have like going across Nebraska or going across like the width of a, of a more of a Great Plains where it's flatter, that's what you're going to have a long day. Yeah, I know the, uh, our state, it's, it's so oddly shaped. It takes over six hours to drive from the northmost part to the southernmost part. And then going across it, it's probably four hours. Yeah. But that's because our panhandle sticks out so far over toward DC. And uh, I know I've heard several interviews with uh, the uh, Ride Across America, Race Across America, the Ram guys, mm -hmm. that everything's great until they get to Appalachia. Because once they start coming across West Virginia, it's so steep and it's just nonstop up and down. Oh, yeah. That's they said that's the worst part until you get across the continental divide and you can coast into the finish. Well, maybe not coast, but you know, it's easier. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Enough outdoor. Let's get in the indoor. My whoosh. Sunday race club. Talk about it. So <clears throat> there's four categories. I am in cat four and I get my butt kicked a lot. My fitness isn't where Okay, you know, is this your hold on? Be, is this your first yeah. su official Sunday race club or your second? A one? Second, I've okay. done two. Um, it reminds me of when I was in a cat for a couple ZRL seasons because I can hang on until they start climbing. Once they start climbing, holding like today, there was a, there was a three percent climb, which we all kind of rode together in, in a way. <laughs> And once they start doing five, five point five watts per kilogram on each climb, yeah, I don't got that. So I got a lot of work to do to get to that point to be competitive. Because in my current, like maybe last year, a little bit different. But the Sunday Race Club is literally like a, 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 a ZRL race, which I'm so curious about the categories. You know, I don't think we'll ever know. 
how my whoosh does the cat categories, but I'm a very good B racer on Zwift and the race grouping, you know, it's, it's still sorting itself out, but like, I don't see a chance of this. And like in ZRLs, I can typically be in the B race in the front group. Typically well, this, I don't see a chance as of right now. Um, there are legit former elite um, esports racers in this cat four. So it really, I'm really curious of like the grouping from where I am up through cat three, two, and one have to be so tight. It's kind of weird how they are so tight that, you know, it's very tough racing. Now it is fun. And the having people to race with on my whoosh is kind of nice. It gives you an idea to understand the dynamics. Uh, and what was your field? How many people are in your field? Well, it's all mass start. I think I started with... Isn't it, isn't it three, four mass start and then one, two race together? Or is it no, everyone? No, cat, cat four starts at five, well, for me, 5.40 a.m., then 5.45 a.m., cat three, cat... Two starts at five fifty, and then six cat one starts. Okay, so so it's kind of spread out. But the the course today, cat three caught me. And if I was if I had a little bit more in the tank, I could have climbed with the cat one lead group, and then basically rode drafted them to to finish. Because last week, that's exactly what I did. They caught up to us, and there was a flat, I don't know, probably five k. Well, they caught up to me and I, and I went from 18, 19 clear up to mm -hmm. the 10th. And if I didn't miss time, the sprint wrong, because the, my whoosh little finish, it said, I knew it was like, uh, forget 45 kilometers. Exactly. So when I looked up, it was kind of in a cloud and is that transparent? I thought it said 45.7. Well, here it was 45.1. So I sprint and once it moves where I could see it, it's like, oh shit. I still have like 500 meters. <laughs> the early so, sprint. So I, yeah. Right. Last week I could have finished possibly ninth because one guy got removed. I don't know why, but my my on it on the live results, that guy that group mm. finished tenth. Where there was nine of us in that group, and I finished nineteenth because I missed time the sprint. But one guy did get relegated for whatever reason. He was not in the official results a few mm. days later. An old. I don't know what that's like. Yeah. The, but yeah, it's. Oh. I have a question about you, the way that you know category, categories, mm -hmm. categories in Zwift. How are they in uh, my whoosh? Are you trying to turn off your category, category, categories? I can't say it. Not saying O A B C. This is how it relates, or just are you trying to think this is how it is in my whoosh, and you're trying to figure out their sort of way of uh, it's. Oh, there there are no the right categories. The, the only categories are in the Sunday race club or I guess in the premium events. I don't know if they're separated outside of Sunday race club, to be honest with you. Um, but like when you just sign up for an event, you just race. You don't, you could have a cat one in there and you don't know your category till that Thursday evening or Friday morning. They email you a start sheet, tell you what pen you're yeah, in. Yeah. 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 I've been in the race clubs before. Okay. Okay. So, that's essentially, but for me, it's, it's that Zwift in mindset to where like, you know, cat one, two, three, four. So like you'd figure there'd be some weaker guys and then you'd move up, progress through it. But it, they're pretty tightly grouped. Think, here's the thing I think this is, here's the thing I think. People want to race in the Sunday race club. They have to do the profile. They have to be as accurate as they possibly can, right? Mm -hmm. Where you have, oh, I race in this B race on Zwift. Like there's no, there's no power profile test. There's no, yeah. it's just whatever, you know, it's, it's the wild west. I know they're trying to do the, hey, you have to have a smart trainer or you have to have a power meter or whatever it is and to, to be in these sort of Zwift officials. But I, I think because the hoops to jump through just for the Sunday race club are so strict that it is filtering out a lot of the casual racers that, you know, that race on Zwift. And that's why you're getting yeah. a stronger field that's racing with you. And you're saying your fitness isn't as good, but maybe your fitness gets better. And then you're like, okay, 
I'm I'm capable of hanging here. I, I would the Sunday race clubs that I did, they had like a 45, it was a 45 meter or 45 kilometer race. I think they're all still 45 kilometers. Yeah. But they always finished on like, you know, a 35 minute, 35 minute climb or a 40 minute climb. And well, I'm like, I think the courses are changing now. It was always a huge climb. Yeah. Always a huge climb at the end. I'm like, oh, I'm never making it. I'm just trying to hang yes. with the group until the climb. That's all I tried to do. Yeah. And like my whoosh, I got to put a different cassette on my bike. I have a 20, 11 to 28 on there now. And today I like I had two back to back 13% or 12 to 13% climbs. And I got 50 RPMs struggling because I got a 46 tooth front ring, you know, an oval front ring and then at 1128. So I got to put my 32 cassette, uh, 32 tooth cassette on there just to be able to climb. Cause like it killed me not be able to spin a little more. Mm -hmm. I may have to go to 36 off the outdoor bike, but still, man, there's so many steep sections and today was the first time I've come across racing wise. That was tough, mm. but, uh, I've done, yeah, there was a 20, I think it was like 24 minute climb I had did last week. I don't even know what desert land it was in, but my God, it was terrible. And, and I think I was two minutes slower than the lead pack. And so, you know, I lose it. How was it? How was it getting up for those races? I mean, it's five five o'clock for you. Yeah. For me, it's I have to get up at two o'clock to be ready to race right. at three o'clock. So I normally get up and work at five fifteen a.m. So I just set my alarm. Oh, for you're five. okay. You're used to getting up that early. Yeah, and it's it's almost yeah. Like today, <laughs> funny story is today. Uh, I didn't think about it. I could, I probably could have sent the uh, <laughs> the video so we could play it for you guys. And so next week we'll have a video of this story from our ring camera. So it's five, whatever, 5.05, 5.15 a.m., whatever it is. I let the dog outside like I do every morning. And this little, my little uh, Cavapoo flips out. He never, he hardly ever barks. And he's just going nuts. So then I hear a commotion up on the porch. So then, I, then I'm like, hmm. And I don't, whatever it is, I'm assuming it's an animal. So I don't want him getting bit because he's, you know, a little 20 pound dog. But he's making a, a lot of racket. I get there, there's two raccoons are like, you know, fighting, going crazy. And then Remy, the little dog is after it. And uh, here I come up. All I have is I'm in my boxes and I got a water bottle. So like, I don't <laughs> want the dog getting, so I'm sitting here. They have a perfect video of me spraying this uh, raccoon in the face with water. <laughs> Cause I don't want it to get me or the dog. Pretty entertaining. You sure it was a Mountain Dew? You weren't spraying Mountain Dew on him? Yeah. No. <laughs> and the wife comes down like she had no idea, you know, why is the dog barking? And she could hear the raccoons like fighting it. Oh, yeah, it's pretty entertaining. So you were, you were already adrenaline pumped up, ready to race. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were, we were locked and loaded at that point. So are you, do you feel like you're in the right category, but oh, yeah. you just don't have the fitness for this category? Yeah, the fitness. So in the way they do, they do the weight, I've really been focusing on my weight. I've lost three three kilograms since the 29th of June. So like I've really focused on that, but you can only weigh in once a month. And if you don't, if I understood the rules, right, if you don't do the final race club of the month, that's when you submit your weigh in video. So if you don't do that one, I don't know if you can update your weight, mm. you know, you can update your weight in game, but like when you do Sunday race club, it has to be what's on your yeah, power you have profile to do a weight. You have to do a weight video too, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, that'll help. Because yeah. right now I would be go from 84 down to 81 and possibly if things go right in the next week, maybe even I might get to 80 because what they do is like, say if you're 80.9 or, you know, like I was, whatever. Yeah, number right. was. There's no decimal. It's just, it's, yeah, just, it's, just, it's just, they cut yeah, off. So, if you're 80, yeah. If you're 81.9, you're 81. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that, that may help me too, I but guess. yeah, I, I, I like it and it's something different. It's something totally different. The draft still kind of sucks to be honest with you. And you're like not getting, even, the, you're not getting this delay. I, I, I don't feel a delay. No, but the draft is weird. Like when you're in a pack, it kind of feels okay. Like it, it's not bad. But when you get down to a few riders, it could be because maybe they have the delay that a lot of people most people experience and 
there's a lot of surging. And then it's like, I have to ride with, there's, let's see like how to describe it. Like if you aren't applying pressure to the pedals, man, a parachute goes up and you're off the back. Like it doesn't, like today we went over top of a climb and I'm like six meters behind the person. Well, I let off just from say, I'll make up a number, say 300 watts down to like 250. I was, I had a, I had a sprint to catch back on. And uh, so like you always say in Zwift, always be spinning. Why my whoosh is it? Mm. And I have to use such a low cadence because if I have a high cadence, it seems like I fall off much more. If I use a low cadence and I'm like 70 to 75, 80, like that's, that's kind of the trick that I've found that helps me stay in the draft more. And that's maybe why I'm, I've learned the game. But I know when I come to an incline, I feel it right as I hit it or right as it lets off. Now, Casey and I know Barney and others don't feel that. I have no idea why mine is. Yeah. But I think uh, Bjorn was testing like all three big platforms. Yeah. And he wasn't seeing any delay like other people have experienced. Right. And, and, I, and I, I know there's that course in... Uh, Australia par- Paramata or something Paramata, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like th- that's what I've been testing on it. And it, I have a video of it. It was terrible, and now it's right on. I mean, mm-hmm. as soon as I get to the top or hit the bottom, yeah, I'm feeling it. So it's bizarre. I don't know. I really don't know. I, what I need to do is I need to uh, install it on my laptop and try running it on that. You know, just a regular my Woosh, not the my Woosh HD. Yeah, they go. See if there's a right, difference. Yeah. Do some regular. full science with that. There you go. But you're, and, you're, uh, you, you like it. You're using it and you like it. Yeah. Yeah. The worlds are huge. And I, like, I, and I'm not lying to you. They're, like what, what, what Alu, Alula or whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how to add up how many kilometers are in this world. Because there's like a 20 kilometer here that doesn't loop over anything else. There's a 25 kilometer here, a 42 that does this. And then like you start adding up all these chunks. You're probably looking at this having at least 200 kilometers without looping on itself. Like it's phenomenal. Like there's all these little. So for you, the free riding aspect of it, even though there's nobody around. Yeah. You just get the free, you get the free riding and, and you can cruise around and not double back on stuff and these weird yeah. routes. It's and like right now, full roads, full roads. Yeah, right now I'm trying to learn where all, where all these turns go. And, and it kind of like the way I learned Zwift was I went to the same world every day until I understood it and off, you know what I mean? Then I did whatever. Well, now the way they rotate it, you can't hack your way into it like Zwift. You know, mm. you, that's how you used to. But so, yeah, that's but yeah, it's fun they rotate for me. worlds now. They they yeah, do the it, they do the world rotation. They they used to have the all of them open for a while. Yeah, and and now I did read today in the Facebook group that uh, they are looking at a different rotate schedule because right now it's like Wednesdays, Thursdays, endurance climb. You know, say Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, or whatever the date is for California, and it's dead set every week. Uh, and whatever the other rotation for the worlds are. So, but they are looking at changing it up. So people who like, say they only ride Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Yeah. That way they can different worlds. But the, uh, my wish itself, there's, there are a lot of problems and it's very frustrating, but just if you're getting on the ride and just do your thing is it's very nice. Uh, worlds are big. The training, there's, there's, nice training programs but i haven't done them because you don't get credit for the routes you do in a workout or a race or an event which is frustrating uh there's also problems with if you do a a workout in my whoosh it it like it's there but you don't get credit for it it's bizarre it's a bug they know about it they're supposed to be fixing it but for right now i've just been using either zwift or golden cheetah to control my workout okay and uh well that brings overall you get, overall, yeah. you you like it. Yeah, overall, yeah, you're yeah. enjoying it. So that that's one of the things that I brought up to you guys offline was because I started using System Wahoo System, mm-hmm. which is originally Sufferfest. Then it was it now it's like Wahoo X, but it's a 
slice of Wahoo X because Wahoo X was used to be two things, which was RGT yeah. and now system. Uh, and it is not a like virtual riding platform. It yeah. is just workout, but there's on the bike, off the bike stuff. You can do indoor, outdoor, which also Ruby, which we talked about last week is Ruby or a couple weeks ago. I can't remember what it was, but uh, they're giving you credit for outdoor rides where system is not essentially doing that. It's, it's, I just wanted to try it because I, I wanted to get back in shape and I needed a program. I need somebody to kind of like, not someone, but something yeah, uh, to kind of just give me something to do. And I didn't have to like, you know, set up time. It just gives me what I, what I need or what, what it feels I need based on whatever <laughs> I asked it. Right. So it's, but the, the question is, what kind of balance do you think these platforms, you know, the top ones, uh, need for events, as I were of mine, right? Need for like events. So like the racing, the serious racing, the casual racing events, fondos or whatever it is, the competition stuff. The training plan, the hey, I need to train, the Peloton world of like, hey, I want to get a workout and get my work in. And then the, the thing you were just talking about, which is the social free ride. I want to ride around. I want to hang out with my friends or do something virtually and do like not an event, but just kind of like, ah, I just want to hop on and maybe ride with the pace bots or something like that. Yeah. There needs to be, there's like, what, what do you guys think is a good balance for that? What do you think is the leaning, you know, driver for people to stay on a platform, continue to use the platform to actually start up on the platforms? I think one of the biggest, I think one of the biggest, and this is coming from, I spent a lot of time last year on Indievelo. Um, I'm learning. Oh, I just see where Fezwheel told me how to pronounce Para Matar. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, I think the biggest thing is uh, my whoosh has some nice stuff. Indievelo has some nice stuff. Indievelo has bots. Ironically, people ride for days and hours and hours and hours with these goddamn pace partners in Swift, but you go to Indievelo, it's like, oh, I don't want to ride with bots. Dude, you spend hours yeah. riding with yeah. Coco. It's, 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 I don't understand that. I don't understand it. I think it's just a justification to not ride any develop, not try something else. Why well, don't we run with bots? Well, come on, you're, you're riding yeah. with Coco every day, regardless. And then my whoosh, it's the lack of people in events. And I think the social aspect drives everything with these online platforms. Um, I think that it's the community. I think like RGT, someone found RGT and they found their little bubble. Let's say that, that I remember Lou always had these rides. Yeah, I don't Lou, know what yeah, Lou the, is. The Lou's group or whatever. Yeah, like that was their thing. They got together, they rode. Like when I was off doing, you know, recovering from my knee replacement, I'm doing these one watt kilogram rides. I'm struggling to get through it, kind of. And then these people are just like talking about their dogs and what they have for dinner and this and that, like that part of it. And I think that's the, that's the thing. My whoosh, Indie Velo, whatever else is going to have such a hard time truly breaking through Zwift's community. Um, I think that's the biggest thing, probably because they were first and people latched onto it. Um, I think it's the community that is around Zwift. It's the most accessible. It's the most known. And f for the beginner, like Aunt Bev and whatnot, you get on these basic training plans. It might help a little bit. They, they rod, you know, they pick up. I remember. But is it, isn't that, the, isn't that the reason why people get on is to get it. I need to work out or I need to ride. And yeah. so, the, so that is the first thing is like, Hey, like, I believe like the, the creation of Zwift was to have this virtual thing where it had no, I don't think it had any workouts and any events. It's just, you just hop in and ride. Right. From what I understand. And yeah, so then people the started to meet up at like the third, a hey, the third palm tree on this road, yeah. we're going to do a race. Right. And so the main thing is like people would do, they just needed something to do 
uh, I, that's why I bring up this question is because I, I rode last night on system and I didn't double dip. Like I didn't even, it was like, I don't even want to roll. I, I just threw on, I threw on West wing. Like I watched two the back to back episodes. <laughs> yeah. The TV show West wing, because I was like, I threw it up and I was like, oh, okay, I'll watch West wing because I don't want to, I don't want to stare at an avatar riding around, you know, when I'm doing a workout, when I'm not going to be around anybody, there's people yeah. that like that. And I have done that, but there's also a point. It's like, the workout is, is a workout thing. It's not like I'm not going to be social because I'm going to be doing intervals or I'm going to be doing something. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk to anybody. There is something to group workouts. Uh, but what I, what I was, th what I'm thinking is we just don't want to stare at the wall when you're doing yeah. a workout. That's how you get people in. But then when there's a point where you're like, Hey, not every ride indoors or on, you know, whatever, out, not beyond outside is not going to be a workout. And that's where they wanted the, uh, the social or the event stuff. The social stuff just happened. Like that is not like it's, it's that or social stuff is organic. You can nurture it, yeah. Yeah. but the, Hey, I want to race the third, the third palm tree with everybody. Okay. That sort of comes along. Then the event rides or the, the social stuff comes, but how, when do you think, uh, like Zwift or Indivelo or my whoosh, like my whoosh has put a lot of time in there. They, they have a, uh, uh, now they have like coaches, they have like, ver like Cy Bradley yeah. and they have the like videos of coaches, which is kind of like the system or mm -hmm. I don't know how trainer road is, but the, the, the ride that I was scheduled to do yesterday, which was like a three hour ride. I only did an hour and a half. Cause I, I started late and I didn't want to stay up till three and 11 o'clock at night getting it done. But it was no Ooh. video. It was nothing. It was just the, it was just the screen. Then there's rides or races, virtual, like not virtual, right? But like they put video from other, from old uh, pro races with a workout inside of yeah. it. So that's like a full gas where it's a real road, but you have other riders on it. So it's a little bit more engaging than like a, uh, like a Ruby route with no avatars, which I, you know, most of the time they have avatars. But the, Hey, I, I just want to, uh, uh, I've done my workout and now I want to free ride and I want to explore stuff that I think is where the balance is. is like, when did, when, so why do you think Zwift is doing what they're, Hey, we're going to listen to the community now. Are they listening to the community to help with more, uh, features under the hood or are they trying to help with the social stuff or are they going to do more events? That's, that's sort of the thing is like, because at certain, because moods change, not everyone's doing a workout. Like I don't really don't like workouts, but I'm only doing workout rides now, workout rides now, you know? So what, what, what do you think the, 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 the listening to the community from the, from all of them, from anything that you're using? Like, cause that's the thing is like when people have these requests, like, Hey, I want this, I want this, I want this. And sometimes it deviates from like the core message of, or the core goal of like Eric Men or George or the, the people that yeah. do my whoosh when they're requesting things like, Hey, we want more of this. When it deviates from that, how would, what do you think it's just public pressure to go, Hey, we want to add this, or is it, we're, we're trying to engage more people to have more people join our platform. I think my whoosh is kind of doing this with the video workouts and stuff like that, they are trying to give people as many options as possible. Because like, just like you were saying, saying at the start of that, you get on and do a workout. Now they only have, my wish only has six, but like you hop on there and you'd be like, oh, this is my workout. I'm gonna to listen to this. I've only done one, but like she was telling me what intervals are. If I didn't know what intervals are, then yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And so, and that's something with Zwift. They have the stuff, but you got to go find it. It's not staring you at the face when you open up the thing. You know what I mean? Uh, open up Zwift. So, and you don't have a coach talking to you, like a human talking to you. And I think that is a good aspect. Now, what you're saying is, I think, yeah, man, that's tough for me because I'm not. 
And I'll, I'll just say, when I was recovering from the knee replacement, I already knew what was what to have. I knew what racing was. I knew what workouts was. But I wanted to ride my bike and not, and just have other people around me, essentially, you know? So that's when the group rides. Okay. Can you get into that a little bit deeper? You wanted, yeah. you wanted to know that somebody else was in their garage or basement yeah. riding around with you. Yeah. It was just a simple, Hey, I'm going to do this event. It's 45 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. And basically it was, it had nothing to do with like me trying to put out power. It was like, I just want to ride with these people that aren't mm. riding around with Coco. And it kind of opened my, my, my eyes because I'm so focused on the training side of it and the racing side of it. There's a massive community. And if these numbers are accurate, Zwift is giving us with the race participation and the subscribers, there's thousands, tens, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people that don't give a shit at all about racing. They're oh, yeah, all yeah, no, there. No, no. It's you know about I mean? wanting so, like, to, yeah, it's about wanting to belong. It's yeah, that's how so, I break it down is. And I think just what you said right there, belong. It was, you know, a recovery ride to some for me, you know, like I'm trying to rebuild. And I think that was part of it. Now, if I would hop I, into, I agree, uh, I agree with I you. I think if I hopped into my whoosh and there was one person that sucks. So I think that's why Zwift is going to be hard to beat currently, unless my whoosh or Indy Velo, I think if Indy Velo does the graphics, I I don't seem like it's going to happen according to what Bjorn was saying. And that's never, that's been talked about, but never, ever been a focus within Indie Velo. Now, I'm several months removed from really putting mental effort into Indie Velo and all the stuff behind the scenes. So, like, I'm no longer an expert with it at all. So, uh, I know last year, the graphics we talked about a lot in there were some very intelligent people and some people in the graphic, whatever magic IT world designing. Mm -hmm. And they had some really cool stuff And George. I won't say he was adamant, but he was basically like, nah, not now. There was talk about before it goes public, updating the graphics. So when it comes to people, but I, as we know, it's been over a year, what, 12 months now. And, there's been basically no yeah. graphics, no changes. So I think Indie Velo, because it has, if you don't know their bots, but they have people out there, you can ride up to them. And they're not dumb bots like Zwift just riding around the same pace or my whoosh bots. They they interact and they go. So they are smarter. They are better. Casey, I know Casey Sean always talks about he likes racing on Indie Velo better because yeah. you don't know what you're getting. And that it is accurate. The, the the bots were coming to life last fall before my knee replacement and they were actually really good and they got harder and harder as George and Bjorn kept messing with the algorithm. Yeah. But I think when it boils down to it, the you, you're going to go to where the people are. I think that's why my whoosh Sunday race club. It's like old school Zwift. You knew every Thursday, like once the volcano circuit got or, added, yeah, yeah, yeah. you knew every Thursday we, as the racers, were doing that race. You know, and it's a local the, group no, ride. It's be, it, Sunday Race Club is yeah. a lot more hoops, and you have to sign up on like a, a Tuesday by Tuesday. Otherwise, it'll fill up, and you know you get yeah. you got to get got to get signed up early. But it is yeah. that sort of like group ride mentality, but it's yeah. a little bit more sanctioned mm -hmm. where Zwift has so many events now the hey the the you know show up on the volcano or whatever and right. so those get a little those now now see now it's spread out and it's so, a, little, a lot more thinned thinned uh thinned out and Zwift has the users to to fill up 15 events in, in an hour my whoosh does it and if you look at their calendar there's as many events in my whoosh, maybe not as many, but there are so many events. So they, there's three events in a half hour or whatever the number, you know what I mean? So like you have two events within 15 minutes of each other. When your user base says a hundred people at that time, I'm making up numbers. I have no idea. Say there's a hundred people online mm -hmm. in the Belgian world and you've got two events within 15 minutes either, or maybe three 
or whatever the number is within a certain small period of time, you, if I enter in the one that's like, at, say like right now, say if it's at nine o'clock, starts at nine o'clock and then Zavarice gets in the one that's 845 and then you get to one that's, you know, nine, nine, 10, there's three people that want to do a race and then we all enter different events because there's three options. So I think my whoosh honestly needs to remove some of the events. Like they need to thin them out. You, I'm, I'm guaranteed they have statistics on their side. They need to take the events. Look, look, hey, we got five events in this hour, say on USA Eastern time, 6 p.m. to yeah. 7. There's five events. We have two in this, three in this, eight in this. Okay, let's cut out these three. Give them two options. So, like at six o'clock, the American crit or whatever time. I think it moved to seven, but regardless, you know, people are going to show up for this because it's the only one available. Give a group ride. This is just you know, give a group ride and a race, and yeah. let kind of people. So if I know every Wednesday at six p.m. or seven p.m. that a USA crit is, I'm going to show up for it. Get a race in. Yeah, that's like the. Uh... What is it? The classic de Judy, which used to be on RGT, now it's on Indie Velo. And then yeah. you have the Wednesday, Wednesday World, Mercredi, some other uh, Toma from uh, the RGT oh. community, where now he's on Indie Velo. But they yeah. have like a specific Wednesday race. Uh, even the West London stuff that was like people showed up for that because they knew that was that there. They knew it was there. All the other stuff. I think the idea, and I think you're right on about this. I actually do think you're right on about this. Is if you if you just start going, you know what, we're not going to have as many events. They're going to be more spread out, mm -hmm. so that if people want to ride, they got a free ride. They don't do an event with a bot. Yeah, you just you do a thing. But then then you're having the people like oh, I want to jump on and do an event. I'm not even going to jump on the platform. Like I probably would do that. I probably wouldn't jump on a platform if if there wasn't an event instead of free riding. So yeah. it's like you have to kind of like curate. That's the thing. It's like there's it. Zwift is so flooded, and be, the reason why there's a there's a stigma for both. There's one because like Indie Velo has an event like every hour or every fifteen minutes. It seems like same with my whoosh, but it's okay because they're filled with bots, so you can yeah. get you can get something out of it. But like a a, a ride in Zwift. If you join an event and there's nobody that signed up to it, you're riding by yourself. Mm -hmm. And so that's where when they should, when they said that they were going to, they were going to thin out the, uh, uh, the event schedule, which happened. I don't even know if they have, I don't even know if they have, or they haven't. Uh, it doesn't look like it on paper. It does not look like it doesn't it. look like it, but the, the thing with, with, with Zwift is they have the numbers to fill up, less events to make them look better. But then there's this sort of like stigma of, oh, we're, we want events so that, you know, it's on demand because I'm paying money. So the difference between my whoosh and any developer is nobody's paying for it yet, unless you're a founders club, but yeah. it's pay. I want to have an event. Well, there's nobody here. So because whatever, so it's weird how popular the paid version is than the not the whatever the the free or the unpaid yeah. uh, version of these games because the people right so like you you the sweat equity we keep talking about the sweat equity so i i think the balance i think going back to my original question is i think they should lessen the events make them more specific the free riding and the training plan plans or even if they're, if even they need to focus on training plans, because they're, you know, it's a, it's a training platform. It's not a game, everyone. Yeah, right. That's the old comment. But I think the, I think your idea of, hey, they should have less events and curate more event, curate the more specific events, you know, like I get, I'm mad that these, the Zwift, the Zwift labs, uh, race, race ranking races are not, they're not even on when I'm, when I want to join in. Well, I mean, do you want to get into that race core or do you want to save it? What do you, we can go into it. Yeah, we can move on to that. Why? What's okay. Up? Because I agree with what you're saying that they have a select few, not a few, but like it's select times in that Zwift race score. I don't understand it. I never I, understood it. 
I don't even understand the, the original Zwift Power one. Yeah, well, yeah, and, and I don't that since they started race score, I have achieved my lowest Zwift Power ranking score ever. I, I don't know what they changed, but I have one event. I think I've done seven, six or seven now, and I placed in top four in all of them. Won several. I went up a group and placed second, and it was at a sprint finish. I lost by like you know a thousandth of a second. It was I was catching him at the line, mm -hmm. but I've either gained nine to eleven points. I did a zone two ride just to see what I would lose. There was ten people in it. I finished ninth. I don't know how I beat someone. I'm doing zone two, and this guy. His heart rate was 180. Don't know what this guy was doing, but I lost nine points. I set a 12 minute power. I lost nine points. And then I go out a few days later and I set a 40 minute, 330 watt effort. No change at all. That's so bizarre. Okay. So I what do you think it is? Based on, based on you reading it, what do you think it, what do you think is going on? The base score you get it's it's a hundred percent based off. I mean, I shouldn't say a hundred percent. I think it's heavily based off the Zwift category enforcement, that power curve, because Casey Shum and I have went back and forth for what a year and a half now of trying to understand it. Because I've set a new FTP on like a time trial, so I did like say I think Casey was in the same event with me. We both did like four point four ish watts per kilogram. And our F Z F T P went down. <laughs> like, uh, how do you increase your effort? It was thirty minute. Now I'm thinking about it was thirty minute. Mm -hmm. And we increased our F T P in both of our Z F T P's. Z F, whatever the hell, Z F T P's went down. And the Z map, whenever we increased it, it went down as well. So we have no idea. But whenever I did that, is it based minute because power, it's it's. Is it the 90 day block of data? Is that the thing that's the, it's well, like it's you, like, and, and uh, going back to your, your, Hey, I did a race at zone two and I lost nine points or whatever, whatever yeah. it was, but you're not racing against the same people. So their race ranks are different than the race ranks that you were like, if you were in the same race ranks with other people. So like if you beat somebody, that's a lower race rank, correct. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Maybe I'm the, I don't know it either, but if you race somebody and beat them and you have less points than you, you gain points from beating somebody that has more points than you. And then you did a zone two race and your race and you lost to people that had a higher rank than you or a lower rank than you, you gave them points. Yeah. And I don't know how, right. Like what you're saying is that I'm not sure. Cause I've seen people in, if you have an abundance of spare time, you can sit and read through the Zwift yeah. labs companion app chat which is the worst situation to try to read through fifty thousand messages a day basically like i could just kind of scan through the notifications and can, we, that's it. can we take that and pump it into like uh chat gpt or something and, and have it summarize it for us i would be nice <laughs> i don't lee get on it yeah so like i had Poppy a field pace, of... buddy summarize and like on paper <laughs> Like I race much higher than my category. It's the same, like, you know, I can hang in most, maybe not most A races, a lot of the flat rolling A races, I can hang in them. So I race a lot higher than my actual ability. So it's also kind of bizarre that I started in the C group cat and I just got to B. So that's very strange. Are you strange. talking about race points? Or are you talking about category? Well, that's the I, problem well, with the categories and yeah. race points is because Zwift is still putting C yes. in brackets. So they'll say this group is 375 to 450 C. They yeah. need to get rid of the freaking C. It's 375 to 450. That's yeah. the group. Yeah. It's not a C anymore. It's not a B. It's yeah. 375 to 450. Because I noticed last, that when I was going yeah. through all of the logins. I'm like, they're still saying A, B, or C. It's wrong. I'm just wondering if it's because the system hasn't figured it out yet. So it's still A, B, or C mm. in the categories within Zwift programming. Yeah. Lingering so, code. That sounds about yeah, right. Be. 
Yeah, that's probably what it is. I in the last race I did, I'm tr- I was test I'm testing the dynamics in France because they seem different. Like I cannot get off the front like at all. Like I'm doing intervals like you know 4.8 watts per kilogram off the front. I can't get more than three seconds off the front. Very bizarre. Um, so in a race, I did a race. It was not like the whatever one of the Zwift races. It was a uh, SCR. Um, I got dropped on the because is that route that comes right out of France, goes right up Vontu, then cuts down the Petit KOM. So like I was a couple seconds off from the leaders when they went through the banner. So I just dropped back to the second group, and I was like, well, I want to catch the people in front of me. They're only eight seconds in front of us. Let's catch them. So I start working. No one works. And I go off the front and I pretty much rode to the end by myself at FTP. Like it was terrible. And they chased, but they never caught me. And then when I do the Zwift lab, like the Zwift events, it is different. It feels different. And I'm curious if they're testing new pack dynamics, but the people in that race with racing score, they're like, oh my God, this is the C race, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, it's it's not category enforcement, you know? So that's a big confusion, like was with Lee's saying. People do these events and if they don't know it's race score, they're thinking they're in a C. So what does that matter? Point. Does that well, even matter? It, it doesn't matter to me, but to the no, but I mean but your effort is your effort yeah or is this a sandbagging thing like if you put this that's what it is it's people sandbagging it's it's like that thought of you know i'm a sandbagger because i'm in a cat c well it's category whatever racing the race score group not category enforcement so yeah it is confusing so how many a's are actually 300 to 345 to 300 how many a's do you think have that many points some of the events I've done have had A, B, C's, and D's in that whatever it was, the 450 yeah. and 575 group. So it's been a wild <laughs> difference in groups. Now I'm up into the next one up, uh, whatever, 575 to 750. So I'm sure to get a lot harder now. But it, and this is something too. I've talked to Casey about it. And, and you guys, if you if anyone in chat or anyone that listens to this have done them, it is astonishing how bad people are at racing these race score events have like every single one except for the one where i went off the front and the ones where i was doing even when i was doing intervals i still had one of the lowest watts per kilogram in this race if you are truly racing to finish well you know racing it like i've been 0.5 to 0.6 watts per kilogram less than the entire group it's it's bizarre how and that hey people have may have different goals they are they're make it hard to work out they could care less they are just trying to use the group you know i'm going to attack the group make them chase me i'll attack them again i've done that in races before so maybe that's what they're doing but it's every single race and the same thing when i watch casey like he me and him are so far less watts per kilogram it's kind of bizarre And it's not like, you know, me and like three other guys or Casey and three other guys. It's like the entire group. And then Casey's looks like a a sea rider that just stuck on the, uh, well, you know, three watts per kilogram guy. I think what happened was like indoor racing opened up bike racing to a huge amount of people who never have experienced in real life racing that's, or yeah. maybe they were too nervous to go to a real race. Mm. That's what exactly what you were saying is what happens is you have a ton of people who don't have like race craft because they've yeah. never actually experienced yeah. race and Zwift in the indoor and the apps don't act, you know, physics wise the same as they would outdoors. But yeah, like what you were saying with the Watts per kilo, that was like, my whole goal as well was how high can I place with the least amount of effort? And there would be guys like I would be like top 10 and there was be guys like one watt per kilo over me. You know, I'm like, what are you guys doing? How did you not win when you got like 3.6 watts per kilo and everyone else was like 3.1. 
Like you should have yeah. been miles. You came third. Like, how did you come third? You should have been like so, so far off the front. So do you think Zwift should have race clinics? That'd probably be a good idea. Actually, that would be really interesting in group rides mm -hmm. with the little words up on the screen. Like, okay, this is what you want to do. Like, well, you race with bots. But yes. if they uh, listen that's to the community, pretty, actually, it, that's listen. pretty much it because the bots, like an Indie Velo, they react more realistic to what would happen outdoors. So yeah. you would learn really quick when the bots attacked you with 2K to go and you're like, what the heck is going on? Mm -hmm. I need to chase. Put that in the, uh, the old community idea box that, that Zwift is now pulling from. Yeah. yeah. Like what Taco yeah. just said, it's a beginner trap being a dummy out on the front <laughs> pulling all ride. Like there was a guy, I don't want to say in the Canadian nationals, his FTP was like 370. And when you would look at just the stats, you'd go, holy crap, this guy's going to destroy everyone. His FTP yeah. is like 40 watts more than everyone in the category. He came like sixth. How is that possible? Like he could have just ridden in the pack, rested, and then with 5K to go, TT ahead of everybody because no one could catch him because his FTP was 40 watts higher. But instead he pulled the group for almost yeah. the whole bloody race uh, and he wore himself out and everyone out sprinted him. Yeah. So just super poor race, you know, like race knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Not reading the race. Well, that's sort of the blob is people don't want, people don't want to, they don't want to burn energy and save it for the end. And like uh flight wizard saying in chat, like his goal, he, he's not a good sprinter. So his goal is just to, you know, pull and do a, a workout, basically push himself in or, that kind of like I was saying earlier. And, maybe that, that's, that's, and that's perfect. Maybe yeah. there's just a ton of people that are going in races and just using them as workouts and not actually oh, that happens uh, all the time. racing them. Oh yeah. That happens all so the time. So they'll go off the oh, front. This is my race, this is my race oh. recovery race. My recovery yeah. race. I oh, I did 30 minute, five minutes of super hard yeah. effort and I pulled everybody. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. But with the points, people might actually go, oh geez, I'm gonna like screw up my points if I do that. Even if they know yeah. what their points are. They probably don't even know what their points are. There wasn't a big announcement. Like it's it's in the top right corner, but it doesn't really like it doesn't explain it to you. You hover over it, it doesn't tell you, or does it? I don't know. I, I mean, it it had to be someone that's not in our little bubble of trying to understand everything. So because we were so into it. Yeah. All right. That's that's about an hour. Do you want we still going? Any questions? No? Just uh, comments. Comments. Yeah, something we missed is uh, the public qualification for my, uh, my wish, the uh, public qualification for the world championship. The U.S.? Uh, just in general, not necessarily U.S. Public uh, qualification. What are you talking about? Yeah, so. Uh, let me, yeah, I'm out of the loop on that one. I, I'll post two articles in chat here. Yeah, I did uh, uh, two, an hour and a half of endurance yesterday. And watch two episodes of West Wing. I got the Zamana K and my Woosh official thing. Or Zamani, I don't even know how to say it. Zamana K, I think. It's Communique. Communique. But you put a Z at the beginning. Zomunique. Zomunique. Yeah. Zomunique. Okay. So I just, it's a rough name. The guy has a lot it's of good French. information, and most of his like write ups are very well written, but I can't yeah. handle his name. Can't, I can't do the it. Title, the title. Fans yeah. of the content, we it's we have a tough time with the. Yeah, uh, I read all yeah. of his stuff. Yeah, and he's, he's got some very good. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah he's, he's got some very good he inside does, he's, information. He's a, like a, a freelance reporter, so he's very. His yeah. write ups are very good. I do the same thing. I'm, I read him like Zomunaki. Zomunaki. Yeah, yeah. Zomunaki. Like, and then Zomunaki. I'm just going to be like, That's "This on, is annoying." Yeah. Essentially, my whoosh is allowing uh, the UCI and my whoosh are allowing 20% of the world championships to be of the semifinalists, 20% to, who are in the semifinals to be the public, whatever. So me, Scott, Zav, anyone listening can get through to this. 
Um, let's see here. Well, August 3rd, 7th, and 10th, there'll be multiple times you're going to do two of the three stages. Uh, you have to pre-verify? You have to, you have to uh, do power, what's, what are Somewhere, the I, honest to God, you don't think you have to, but before you, if you make it through, you have to do it, the verification. Um, I, I, I read this and I can't remember now. But basically, you're going to do two events. Like, you know how the, like, the world championship will have three? You're going to do two of them. And if you qualify in that, you will move on. Um, this is like Hell Track. Qualifying for Hell Track. That's an inside joke or inside reference. I'm trying to find both of my quick. co hosts do not know that. Inside track? Hell, cra- Hell Track. Hell Crew track. Jones. Oh my God. I apologize. Yeah, I, I don't know. Cochran, I read it somewhere in one Cochran, of these Cochran, Alberta, right? Isn't it in Cochran? It's near, it's near, uh, okay. Near yes. Edmonton. Here. So you have to have gone through the my whoosh verification process to do the qualifiers. Okay. So, which, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of steps. It took me, I had everything set up that it, it took maybe I think a total of three hours to get everything done, the, including the power passport test. Uh, so it is a lot of steps. It is some extra time, but you know, oh well. And here's, here's the thing. Let's just say, let's say I do this and somehow I sneak through to the semifinals and I'm trying to find Basically, if you get to the semifinals to compete, you have to buy a UCI. You have to have buy a license and have a UCI number. Those are those, the UCI number is free. Well, you just have to buy a license. It's not is that, okay. Why well, I, I googled it and it told me it was a two hundred forty forty dollar. Is that how much the license is? Two hundred forty dollars. Not mine. Okay, so I mine is like a hundred and hundred and fifteen bucks, maybe. I can't, okay. I don't know. It just it's USA. It's you, you, you get, you're a United States citizen. You race under yeah. United States. You have the license to race. You then request a UCI number and then they give it to you. They align it to assign it to you. Okay. Yeah. It's honestly didn't know. Yeah. Uh, but I just Googled UCI license and it came up and but it did say international though. So maybe that was the difference. It did say international. So maybe if it's just a regular USA cycling. Yeah. But yeah. So, you see, is it a UCI ID or is it a UCI like uh, international license? Whatever, we're in we're in the weeds now. Don't don't yeah, even worry about it. We did it. get into the weeds, but there's However, a qualifying stuff so you can qualify. And so you need yeah. dual power. You need a smart trainer, dual power. All the all the yeah. hoops you need to do for Sunday Race Club, mm-hmm. those need to be completed before then. Okay, it says riders who qualify for semifinals must have a valid UCI registered license issued by their federation and a federation life license. So I don't, I don't know if that's I just. That, I think that's what I have. It's like yeah. we had uh, provincial cyclocross racing here just before COVID, and they allowed people without licenses to attend the race, but if you won, you didn't sure. get the title of provincial champion because mm-hmm. you didn't have a license. See the second line? Yeah. Oh, UCI. UCI. Yeah. So I bought that one, which is UCI. And then when I did, when you do masters, virtual masters or whatever, you need that UCI ID because it's a national championship chance, right? Okay. And so you just send, I sent an email to USA Cycling. I'm like, hey, I need my UCI ID. Okay. Boom. All right. Like like a couple hours later, a UCI number came in and it's assigned to me. That was nice. It. Well, that's good. Yeah. But with with the participation, it's possible, very possible. Some of the stronger fellas in chat here and just within the community that we have, you guys could definitely get through. Um, and I don't know. It doesn't clearly say if it's like. I, I saw it somewhere. I saw the breakdown of how many people get through. Um, there's Where's certain the country. Yeah. Well, I did post it in chat. Oh, but okay. uh well. Is this yeah, N- is this NDA or which chat? 
Oh, it's 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 in the Twitch chat, just for everyone to see. But yeah, it's, so it's it's a possibility, and some of the stronger guys may be able to get through if they weren't selected by you know whatever country they're from. But yeah, so it's nice that they are allowing the community to have that piece of the puzzle. Four four then, this was four days ago. Yeah. All right. But then again, the participation, like I'm kind of disappointed with Canada only having like three people and one was Casey <laughs> show up for one of their qualifiers there a week or two ago. What are these like, times? I, honest, C E T G S T C D T A E S T. Oh, Actually, I, I think Google what Casey did was one of the test events. Yeah, he did test. He actually, yeah. actually yeah. did the qualifier, oh. but I still don't think they got very much attendance for the qualifier race number one. But the rules are kind of Canada has seven spots for men, but they don't necessarily have to fill all spots. So if you just show up to the qualifier and you happen to get sixth because there's only six people, you most likely are still not being taken to uh, semifinals. And some of the spots are auto filled, like Tom Thrall, he's in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like he doesn't need to race in the qualifiers. Yeah. When I read, oh, I, I know, Kellison, what, where is that? I just closed it. It's the, uh, the rule set is where I saw the breakdown of who, who gets what. The technical god rule set. That's where it was broke down. What country gets how many participants? But uh, yeah, the women have it's, more it's cool. more qualifiers. More the women have more slots available to them. One hundred twenty six total, and one hundred thirty. Oh yeah, women. Yeah. yeah, I have the PDF open right now. Okay, that's cool. Public right. qualification May through June, August three through seven. Uh, August three, <laughs> yeah. seven, and ten. Top twenty five riders. Yeah. There you go. Sprint one or stage one is a sprint and stage two is a strategist. And this coming Tuesday, I am it's it's I'll be streaming the actual test events. Uh I got the other the first two were uh at like times I couldn't be at. So I don't know if Cy Bradley took my comment serious or not, but he posted it and I said, Hey, it'd be nice to have a US option and a few days later they i don't know if there was a lot of people that were requesting that or not but as soon as he posted something about the final event i said hey it'd be great to have a evening time for us and then they did post one so i will do it on the 23rd and it's three events very similar to the world championships on zwift this past year so uh but yeah it's, it's unique it's going to be unique all right, I guess I got to look at this. I I probably won't be doing it, but yeah, well, I'm going to do it just kind of out of curiosity. Show content. Yeah, and then, uh, but we'll see if I if the times work out and everything. I'll I'll try to do the semi or the qualification. I guarantee you, I'll get smoked by by it. But still, why not? But you might not. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing is that's the thing you might sneak away you might sneak away attendance is usually pretty bad especially considering it's middle of the summer so you yeah. never know you got to show yeah. up because you never right. know you can't win if you're not there dr weebles came second last year in what in nationals the was he nationals? second or was he third that was two years ago buddy two years ago uh, see you just got to show up yeah. and he came second like, know. if he didn't show up, he wouldn't have been yeah. second. And that was a phenomenal effort. Uh, 375 watts for like an hour and 45 minutes. Jeez. Yeah. It's fifth fastest in Canada last year. You were. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 15th this year. All right. We're done. Yeah? Yeah, I think we covered... This was kind of a slow week, and it wasn't anything. The biggest thing was that I came across was the My Wish qualifying... I know there was a Zwift update, but it had about nothing important in it. So. Actually, I have a final question. Yeah. Would, 
do you think you could ride on ride inside without one of the platforms? Good question. I go back not in time to you on rollers. Can you ride rollers <laughs> and not? I'm terrible. Just stare roller. at the wall. Just stare at yeah. the wall. I do that sometimes. By the way, I do, do rollers, that, but not not. I don't have anything on. Seriously, I just do twenty five minutes. That's how long my indoor rides were because it was boring. Because on you're on rollers and you're staring at the wall and you're like, "Yep, twenty five. I'm out." That wasn't boring. It was like I kept I kept slipping off of the rollers because I'll <sighs> like I'll mess up and then because <laughs> I had like, the rollers that you couldn't fall off of. They curved up on oh, the end, so yeah. when you hit the edge, you just kind of slowed down and it oh, pushed you back. I needed those. So, what? When I first started before Zwift, when I was training, this is like the winter of 2012. I downloaded some videos, Sufferfest, uh, CTS, Train Right, and whatever I, you know. And I because. My setup was out in the garage. It wasn't our basement had all the kids stuff down here, everything now. Like it was totally different. I redes or I remodeled the basement for this uh bike setup. So I'm out in the garage on rollers with a pair of jeans under the rear rollers for added resistance. And I am I've got my uh it's like an iPod nano thing with the video running on it, playing over the speakers in the garage staring at my reflection in the uh, window, listening, listening to what Chris Carmichael was telling me to do on my thing. That's how I started. That's what it was, staring at my reflection, listening to Chris Carmichael tell me to do 360 watts for five minutes. <laughs> so it's funny, as much as we can do it again? Swift, it literally has done more for people's fitness and indoor riding than probably yeah. anything else. Because I used to stop riding okay. in November or end of October, and I wouldn't ride my bike probably till May. Yeah. So there was so, a five, six month period of time every year yep. that I didn't even touch my bike. And now yeah. I ride 12 months out of the year. Right. Camera just I did, I did it at, yeah, you're autofocus. Oh, wow. I did it. I probably could. I mean, I can do it probably an hour or so, but uh, just doing the the progress bar of like a workout and with like a TV show going. Yeah, that was fine with me. So because but, I, the reason why I didn't ride with like Zwift or Indie Velo is uh, or usually I've been double dipping with the Indie Velo or no, the uh, Zwift is because the visual of Zwift is better. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of off the Indie Velo. The Indie Velo sort of like Quake Three Arena look. <laughs> yeah, so, like I said, I'm, I don't race, and so yeah, visuals is makes a big is a big yeah. deal to me. Yeah, yeah. Previous to, to to the to training, like having a workout schedule, it was not visuals. It was like I just want to race. I just want to race, and now I'm trying to get back into that sort of race mentality, and it's visuals for me. You know, like I really like the system workout layout. I like the way that the intervals show off the way that, you know, it's like, and I know it's very similar to like uh trainer road from when I watch other people do trainer road, but they have really good, uh, like how much left is in the interval, like what zone you need to, because I did, I did act. Oh, this is one thing I did. I did have an issue with, uh, my, uh, kicker move wasn't connecting to, to system and I only opened that. So I had to do a, I had to use my power meter for my workout mm. and it was just an inter, endurance. It would change, it would change by like 20 Watts. So it wasn't that much, but I was like, I had to focus on the wattage kick out. Yeah. But if for some reason I had a weird connect connectivity issue and usually system is pretty good at picking up the, the, cause I'm a direct connect, like not even Wi-Fi. I'm on wired direct connect and uh i just was like i just want to do the workout like i don't want to sp spend a hundred time hooking things up making sure i wanted my heart rate to connect it finally connected uh and then just doing the workout and seeing that hud seeing that layout and i just kept thinking and i was thinking about this i wanted to bring this up on the show and i didn't do it until now we're almost we're almost done but 
man, I wish RGT would have had this, would have had system and All RGT would have merged. If they yeah. would have merged, I don't think it would have survived, but I think it would have been stronger talking points to be like, hey, like when the first announcement of like, hey, the Wahoo X thing, because I know Wahoo bought them, Wahoo bought them, and then they came out like six months later or five, four or five months. And it was, hey, we're going to Wahoo X where you get two for one. It's the system slash suffer fest and you get RGT. And then they started to put the this the the wahoo or the uh the system workouts in rgt but they didn't have the same layout and they did they it wasn't the same thing where you had a training plan like i really enjoy like okay so i did this i did that now we're gonna go a little longer i don't care i want to talk about it the uh the workout that was scheduled which was like a three-hour endurance ride uh, I only did an hour and a half, but once I was done, it went into another thing. So it gives you, it gives you a bunch of things like on the bike, off the bike. And then it also gives you like mental strength sort of talking points, or it, it has like a, it's like a, it's technically a workout, but it's not really a workout. And it's telling you like, Oh, use positive talk and all that stuff. I, I did it to kind of learn what it was like, but it's, it's really good laid out. It, or excuse me. It's really good layout. It's, clear i don't have to spend a lot of time figuring stuff out and that's what I, i'm thinking not not only am i doing it to get fit again is i'm i'm doing the sort of like compare and contrast to where it would be on other things so like when i do indie velo like workouts in indie velo are they're they're pretty much like zwift like you can hunt you can hunt down what you're looking for if you're looking for what you're looking for but if you don't there's no guidance really right then Zwift has no guidance really. And then you can load in your, you can do your custom stuff. Oh, you load them your own custom stuff. But when, if like trainer road, trainer road has, uh, from the last time I did, I did it during the pandemic for like a month and it was just on the bike stuff and it was only indoor stuff. Like they didn't do outdoor stuff and that may have changed and you can bring in outdoor stuff, but the training stress score and all that stuff that adds to it, like those are not a part of the training stress, the TSS for everybody. I, I don't know if in Peloton, I mean, we have our, uh, uh, Sydney, Sydney, right? Sydney, Sydney is our, uh, Peloton, uh, what is it? Uh, consultant or, uh, uh, Peloton having just the workout plan stuff. What I'm, what I'm trying to get my train of thought for this thing. It's it's more of like having it so it's it's discoverable and easy to use are something that the 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 virtual training platforms I don't think have solved. They don't they haven't solved it yet. Okay. And I don't know if they're even going to put <clears throat> forth anything to try to solve it. I think it's more of just like, hey, we have a training. We 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 can do training plan stuff, but we, it's not really like all encompassing, you know, Does that makes sense. I, I agree. Yeah. Cause yeah, Zwift itself is finding the workouts and whatnot. It, it is challenging. You're not challenged. And they put workout challenges in there. I think the only, I think the only one that they're really good at is the Zwift Academy because it's yeah. essentially it's, it's the incomplete, it's the complete like system is running. Oh, we're doing a Zwift Academy. Yeah. Like you sign up for Zwift Academy and then you're doing the workouts and the workouts give you something, but it's also like they have, they have Zwift Academy events going out through all the whole day. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, and, and that's where I think like my whoosh having the video coach and that training plans, boom, right there on the front. Like I got to fire up Zwift just to see. Yeah. I have to I do don't... my whoosh to see how it kind of plays out with, with, uh, yeah. now I've done sw system for one month or for one week. Uh, and I've, I've, I've enjoyed it. So I'm yeah. going to do it after I'm going to do after show or after the show, I'm going to do my, my workout. And then after that is a yoga stretch thing, which I'm not very good at yoga, but it's, I feel like I'm, my body is getting stronger. Cause I did, I did two strength and mobility workouts. And then I did a, a stretching thing after a workout, like Thursday or whatever it was, you know, just 15 minutes of, or whatever it was, 15 minutes of stretching. 
those little things that are like built into this thing. That's it's, it's on the computer. It's on the mobile. It's like, I can do where I can do it on multiple yeah. devices. Do where you're at. That's awesome. Yeah. It's very cool. Not sponsored by Wahoo system at all. I'm paying, this is out of my pocket. I'm paying for this. <laughs> all right. So to get, click on the workouts, like if you're up top, you click on workouts. You know, it does give you, I, I guess the the redesigned workout screen is a Are little you sure more. Screen? Uh, or is a race a shared screen? Because I, I think the last time I did work, usually I just load in a workout from something else, right? I don't really use WIFS workouts. It's usually tied to my training, training peaks or something else. And you load in a, I load in a workout that already existed or you build your own or whatever, and then you load it in. But a lot of the, like the, yeah. So go to work, go to workouts. Oh, you're there. Oh, see, they yeah. have, this is, right. this so, is, more stuff, yeah, so. this is the home screen when you go in and then you click on the workouts and yeah, see, this I is don't much remember, better. This is much better. Yeah. I don't remember this being this before. Cause I always click custom and go to, you know, all my stuff here. Okay. Uh, but go to collections and then you can yeah. see like, Oh, I only have 30, 30 minutes, 30, 30 to 30, right. 30 to 60, blah, blah, blah. And you can, so, so there's a, so this is the thing where it's like, when I don't like, so click into the lactate shuttle short. All right. Yeah. So this, tell, this kind of tells you what, what it's going to do. Lactate gets yeah. bad rap. That's okay. And I do like how it breaks down the zone you're going to be in, you know, like yeah, that's pretty nice. That's much better than what I was imagining it used to be. It's a lot better than it used to. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't. I didn't really pay attention. Now here, this this is where just say like Aunt Bev. Okay, she wants to do a workout. She has thirty minutes. What's it, what? Should, what should she do? Yeah, that's the that's the thing I was bringing <laughs> up. Is like you know, that's where I would think going even going back to like Eric Min's interviews with uh, uh, Ray Maker and 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 Des Fit. The, the, Hey, we're not looking at, at AI where I think AI could take off some of their, uh, workload and have, have each individual have a, you know, like a, a learning machine, like a machine learning for them to go like, Hey, the, you know, you can slot in every athlete can have their thing where it would start to learn you. Right. I don't know if they're thinking about that, but that's I'm giving them way, you know, given ideas uh, here where it's like, it's this assert thing that Lee uses yeah. all the time. Is it like, how do you not, how do you not take advantage of everyone's data that's going into the, your system to kind of help guide you? And if you're new, which I don't know if they have a little thing where your aunt Bev, aunt Bev comes in, they don't ask you a bunch of questions. That was a cool thing about system is yeah. it asked me what I was trying to do. Are you trying to do a goal or are you just trying to get improved fitness? And I was like, I have a goal. Okay. When is the goal? Oh, that start the end date of this goal is I, August 31st. That's my time trial race, my districts again. Oh, okay. And then they're like, would you want to add off the bike stuff? Boom, boom, boom. It was, it wasn't, it didn't take long. Do you see that here? No. You see like a lot of this, this is like a very, training like you have to be in you have to you have to be in the in the know to kind of know what you're looking for All right. instead of kind of asking you so right? decision got, tree stuff which they don't i don't think they have the problem with this too is a lot of people you know do outdoor rides as well which is with doesn't take into account oh, okay. and that's why yeah, that was, i think i was training right, yeah. don't really work because you know, like with excerpt or trainer road, like if I ride my bike to work, yeah, it logs that ride and goes, Oh, you did something. Whereas with right. like, what did you No, nope, Yeah. You system does that too. Like you, or you can actually choose the, the ride that's scheduled tonight is I can do it indoors or an outdoors. So I can choose to do an indoor and outdoor. I don't know if Zert or whatever is like scheduling you outdoor specific stuff, but there's no. an option. That's the cool thing about system is I like the, uh, oh, it, if I wanted to do it outdoor, I just select the outdoor and I do the yeah, workout outdoor. And then it schedules really, you like a really target. Out. So I have okay. like targets to hit and how I hit that, it doesn't care whether I ride inside or outside. It'll suggest workouts 
or I can just know from the targets I could go for a ride outside. There's a lot of decent Garmin data fields that work in conjunction with Exert that I can mm. use to help complete a workout. Yeah, for somebody who hated structure, like I'm, <laughs> I'm really enjoying it for some reason. Well, it's nice being able to just do something yeah. and have someone else tell you what to do. You're not like, oh, I'm going to go on in Zwift and I'm going to just ride and what yeah. should I do? Where you log in and it says, do this. And you go, okay, yeah. I'll do that. I would do a lot of the noodle sessions and then, you know, talk on the show or whatever. But now it's kind of like, See that, and they have a they have some. I, I I like the look of things on this. I just I don't think it's as clear for the way that it like it looks. And actually, for 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 lack of a better term, it looks childish, right? <laughs> for yeah. how how professional it looks, it's like like they're sort of like this. It looks so, childish to me, but it's like very specific and very, you know, polished. But they have like I, a very, they have a very like Nickelodeon, for lack yeah. of a better, they have a very right. Nickelodeon uh, feel and design, which like, some people I'm not, like. I'm not an Apple user, but Zwift to me looks very Apple-ish. I can, I can see that. But it, actually, I think this looks even more... Sesame Street to me. It's know, very like it's easy very bright. to read. Yeah, it's got the, it's very easy to read. It's like, oh yeah, and they have very short descriptions. Like the system stuff is very like it's more science stuff. Like they they were like very see that's a lot that's a lot of writing right there. That's like too long didn't read, right? Uh but you yeah, have a, like these these things where it's like the single track slayer, you know, they have really cool things and that's kind of that's oh, kind of the industry. See... The industry is like is very like, hey, let's let's soften the blow of like, hey, what this actually is is just like this is a really tough workout, you know, and it's going to build you up. You have to do all these things. So, yeah, and and kind of like my issue with a lot of these, with the Zwift Academy and whatnot. In Zwift Academy is some of the better workouts. These other workout series is like I've literally done two and three of these back to back. Like for someone who is a seasoned cyclist, a lot of these are very simple. Oh, is that, are, yeah, I think that's I've heard that before. They are like... completely, and I don't know what Swift Academy it was. It this past year was actually kind of difficult. It must have been their previous year. I literally did three. Zwift Academy workouts back to back to back. It was like two hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> you know, just like, yeah, this, I mean, it's, I'm getting tired, but it's not challenging. And yeah. then I rated a guy who was doing the third workout that I did. Now, you know, I've already done two and then I did the third one and I rated him and I chatted with him and like he's struggling to get through this. And I'm just like, like, there's a complete you know, he rides two days a week as whereas, you know, I'm training and like, just so that's what I feel majority of these workouts mm. are geared for is for someone just starting out, you know, Maybe and like, so. if they've never done any structure, then yeah, they are going to improve with off this, like, this might be a challenging workout, this one may be, you know, for because you got two minutes at you know, 295, and then you got a VO2 effort for 40 seconds. And that's going to be a tough set. Both these will be tough sets. And then here, you got to ramp up to your FTP and then a minute at 400 watts. Yeah, that one's going to be challenging. But, you know. All right, we're getting in the weeds. Know. Yeah, no, we're getting in the weeds. Saying, I just but wanted yeah, to, yeah. we went a little bit longer. I did want to talk about like uh, the offering of these things, you know, these this platforms. Is the new norm. Yeah. You haven't done an hour in three weeks. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we've they've been pretty long. But no, overall, it's it's a pretty good this interface looks better. And at first I thought they took away some plans because here, but actually over here where it says plans, you gotta click, you click that so, again. Click the plans. Right. Oh, that, then you oh, got, that's what I remember. Go to workouts. Yeah. 
that's this the thing that, that was the thing where i was like i would be lost yeah this is, this is what it used to be so it's much better it's much better yeah and okay. this is where I, I have everything broken down all right sort of out all right i'm done that was music. Good. yeah i'm tired <laughs> good night everyone good night everybody hey we'll see ya bye, -bye.